thank you very much indeed for having us here tonight. The story of Teach to Teach is a story of justice and freedom. We believe passionately that education is the fastest route out of poverty and that every child deserves an excellent teacher and every young person deserves a good job. Our mission is to train highly motivated but unemployed young people to become as excellent volunteer teachers serving in the underperforming primary schools in the highly deprived communities where they were born and where they live. Their work dramatically improves the reading, writing and problem solving skills of their, children, of their students. Our community volunteer teachers are also trained to be leaders, mentors and change makers. So we put a lot on the shoulders of these passionate and promising young people and they in turn expect a great deal from their students who feel the difference in the classroom immediately. When lessons become valuable and learning becomes relevant and when teachers inspire, pupils remain in school. In fact, they do more than that. They model to their teachers. They want to be like them. In short, we train teachers to teach and students to learn. We work in some of the most highly deprived communities in northern Ghana where poverty is rife and literacy rates are as low as 9%. And here's Grace in front of her house, and she's very cute. <laughs> and less cute, here's me. <laughs> My journey to Ghana started in 2015. Before that, as a television documentary producer, but I'd always wanted to work in international development. And in fact, in order to make that transition, I'd started a master's degree. I learned during that time of study that by 2050, 50% of, of the world's population would live in Africa and would be up to the age of 30, and 50% of them would be unemployed. I joined the board of a small NGO and went to Ghana to assess their educational projects. Now, I do like an adventure, but I did not realise that this trip was to set the course of my life for the next few years. I'd been to Africa before, I had seen the poverty, but what I did not know was that behind the statistics and despite the lack of opportunity, people were intent on making change in their own lives and it was clear they were looking for skills, tools and solutions. As I went from school to school, I saw lots of young people who'd successfully completed their education at no small expense themselves and were unable to find jobs. And in the schools, I saw classrooms without teachers and overcrowded classrooms where students were struggling to learn. The penny began to drop. I began to ask what would happen if we were to harness some of these promising but unemployed young minds and train them to be volunteers in their own communities, teaching in their own language, working where they lived. From head teachers to the head of the education in the northern region of Ghana, everybody thought it was a grand plan. So, starting with literally zero funds and through the dedication of the most inspiring and fantastic supporters, Teach to Teach and the Community Volunteer Teacher Program was born. So what do we do? Well, we recruit young men like Yakabu, here teaching in class, and young women like Amelia, people who've made it their vocation to be leaders and change makers, and we train them to be volunteer teachers. It's simple, it's unique, and it's starting in Northern Ghana. And our wonderful partners, School for Life, we, um, who we work with, have 22 years' experience doing this. As you can see, they train the trainers, who train the teachers, who teach the students, so the multiplier effect of your money is absolutely extraordinary. And here is um, the, the man who leads our team in Ghana with his head through the window. He can't help himself. He's passionate about education. Karimu, 22 years, he's written the book on training the master trainers. And when he walks in the classroom, it genuinely lights up. And if you think the classroom furniture is looking like it's falling apart a bit, that's because it is. That's because every time we work in the classroom, the students turn up, lots of them, and they crowd onto the desks. But our philosophy is to invest in people, not in things. <coughs> what we do is to ensure permanent change, working from the grassroots up, with everybody trained to face in the right direction. So the costs. Well, it costs £2,500 a year to make a yakaboo. 
Each Yakubu will teach up to 400 girls like Grace, her sisters, her brothers, and her friends. That equates to approximately six pounds 25 per Grace per year, which I would think you'll agree is excellent value for money. So who benefits? Well, firstly, obviously, Yankabu. Here he's teaching um, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Secondly, children like Grace and her friend Abdullah. And here's Abdullah heading to school, avoiding goat. <laughs> and most important, parents, like Yakubu's mum here. She's had no formal education of her own, but she is determined that her daughter and her daughter's daughters succeed not only in school but also in life. Thank you.